that only about 20% of people who have problems with their arm and their hand after stroke will actually regain full movement and many people will end up with an arm that isn't functioning at all and that's something that we wanted to solve. And what we realised that in rehabilitation at the moment is that sensation is often ignored and that we wanted to look at finding technologies that could help to improve um, motor recovery and functional recovery by providing sensory input as well. We tried um, three different technologies for providing this, this sensation of, of pressure to the fingertip and these technologies were then tested on, um, on participants, both healthy participant, participants and people with stroke um, and then based on the feedback we got from them we then improved the devices and tried them out again and we went through this process a number of times throughout the, the short project. So the first device we tried out was uh, a vibration device so this is what's commonly used um, and currently available on the market and this device is a, uh, just provides a, a vibration to the back of the fingertip whenever, whenever you want to apply it. The next uh, device that we used was based on one that had been um, reported from Japan and this works by pulling a band around the fingertip so you can see there that when these motors turn that band pulls up and applies pressure to the finger and so we developed this again through these stages of, of, of feedback. The final device was um, based on a material called a shape memory alloy and, and this is a wire that you can see um, through the bottom here and when we heat this wire up it gets shorter and so um, uh, applies a, a pressure to the fingertip in a similar way to, to that that you've just seen. Okay so as Jeff said we um, tested these throughout with people with stroke and with healthy participants and found out their feedback and they told us that the vibration motor whilst they could feel a sense of vibration, didn't really feel like holding anything at all. The um, straight memory alloys felt like having something warm in their hand, as though they were grasping a warm cup of tea, and the motor squeezer with the band felt as though they were holding something, perhaps like catching a ball or something like that. And this means that we've got a variety of technologies that we can use to generate different sensations. So this um, technology could be used on its own as a standalone system um, to help with sensory rehabilitation or it can be used um, alongside existing health technologies such as rehabilitation robots and um, gaming technologies which help with patient motivation during their rehabilitation.